fire flower, sir? Oh, officer, I know this is Wimpole Street, but can you tell me where 27A is? Right there, sir. Thank you. <laughs> oh, are those for sale? Yes, sir, a shilling. Here. Yeah. Thank you kindly, sir. Isn't it a heavenly day? When she mentioned how her aunt bit off the spoon, she completely done me in. And my heart went on a journey to the moon. When she told about her father and the gin, and I never saw a more enchanting farce than the moment when she shouted, Move your blue in us! Yes, sir. <laughs> is Miss Doolittle at home? Who shall I say is called? Freddy Einsford Hill. Oh, if she doesn't remember me, tell her I'm the chap who is sniggering at her. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, would you give her these? Yes, sir. You needn't rush. I want to drink in this street where she lives. Yes, sir. I have often walked down this street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I several stories high, knowing I'm on the street where you live. Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Can you hear a lark in any other part of town? Does enchantment pour out of every door? No, it's just on the street where you live. And oh, the towering feeling just to know somehow you are near. Oh, the powering feeling that any second you may suddenly appear. People stop and stare, they don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. Yes. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Miss Doolittle says she doesn't want to see anyone ever again. But why? She was magnificent. Magnificent? Do you have the right address, sir? <laughs> yes, of course. Tell her I'll wait. But, sir, that might take days, even weeks. But don't you see? I'll be happier here. People stop and stare, they don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. 